Last night, we brought you a special edition of Front Row. Turning Point is the first of many conversations 3 News is committed to having about racism here in America. Tonight, we'll continue with some thoughts from our own Leon Bibb on why the conversation must continue. We are talking now, perhaps as never before. Something else, we are listening. The non-blinking eye of television has broadcast the voices, some which began in heated confrontation, and others in more peaceful sounds. No peace. But all in protest. Millions in America are talking about race and justice, which was sidestepped for too long. Tragically, it took the killing of a black man who died beneath the neck-crushing knee of a white Minneapolis police officer to get Americans talking openly in a far wider and higher level. The conversations began in the streets of America, Cleveland included, as people of all races stepped into the Black Lives Matter movement. Can we talk? And will we listen? Much needed conversations are underway. Question is, will they continue? A new poll shows 76% of America, including most whites, see racism as a big problem. Those numbers are up significantly from just five years ago. It is as if people on two sides of a span bridging a wide gulf are working to bridge their differences by talking and listening toward real answers. Bridges carry two-way traffic. Any conversation is a two-way street. Protesters have taken to American streets to push the agenda. But this time, it seems the center of gravity of this latest chapter in the movement is shifting upward. More talk, more listening, perhaps part of our national conscience, as all of our national constitution have met at an intersection. The discussion of racial injustices is not just at government level, but also in workplaces and communities. Question is, will we continue to talk? And will we continue to listen? For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.